Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Monday Motivational Minute. I'm Tara from Living Happier Life. I hope you had a great weekend. So yesterday was Valentine's Day, a day for love. But who's to say it has to be about romantic love? According to the ancient Greeks, there were seven different types of love. Excuse my pronunciation. It's all kind of Greek to me. There is eros, sexual love. Philia, which means deep friendship. Storge, the love between parents and their children. Ludus, which refers to a playful love. Agape, which means a love for everyone or selfless love. Pragma, a long-lasting love. And my favorite, Philatuia, the love of self. My point is, these holidays don't have to revolve around to the traditional meanings. Life is different and these words like love and family mean different things to different people. For instance, today most of Canada is celebrating Family Day. This is a holiday that was first started in Alberta 30 years ago to promote family togetherness and to give us a much needed day off in February. For some of us though, Family Day is just a day to remind us that we have no family or sometimes worse, a toxic family. Thankfully, Family doesn't have to be blood relation. We can create our own family by choosing the people we care about. There are plenty of family around us everywhere we look, and some of them need us just as much as we need them. Not sure where to start? Look, I'm not in your life, so I can't tell you who's around, but here's a few examples that I, I've seen in, in everybody's lives. What about your work wife? You know, your favorite coworker, the one where you sigh with relief because she walks in the door and you know your day will absolutely become bearable. She's the one that you gossip with, invent to, and tell all your secrets. She's part of your bubble, so spend some time together outside of the office. Or your brother from another mother, the dude that you met at the gym one day and ended up being your workout buddy. You guys talk about sports and cars the whole time. Why not make plans to go to a game or have a beer at a sports bar once it's all safe? Your little grand neighbor. There's that adorable little lady in the apartment and down the hall. Every time you see her, she tells you to wear a hat or do up your jacket. Chances are she's lonely and could use a friend. Especially right now. Make a little extra dinner one night and offer to share or pick pick up her groceries for her so she can stay inside and be safe the maternal classmate you know that mom that went back to school she always shares her lunch with you and asks how you're doing she's always giving you great advice and you feel uncomfortable asking all your embarrassing questions to her if she's going to school full-time and raising kids maybe she just needs a friend to come hang out with her with some wine and pizza look Families are no longer traditional. Families are what we make them. If we open ourselves to new and different relationships, we may find our true family is not that far off. Holidays are the same thing. They're what we make them. We can cry in our cornflakes because we don't have a partner to love us, or we can look around and see all the love we do have and celebrate that. Same goes for family. We can spend the day with people who aren't good for us or even alone, or we can spend time with people who are our heart family. Have a happy, healthy family day, everyone. Love and gratitude. See you next week.